Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of Mighty App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a dictionary app using a Mighty App Inventor. So for this, we are going to use the Google Dictionary extension. So let me show you how this works. First, you need to type a word for which you need a meaning. So let me type hello just for an example and then you need to click on get meaning. After you click on get meaning, it will get it from the Google Dictionary and then here you will be able to see all the meanings of the word hello and you will be able to see it in a list because we are using a list view now if you are new to my channel i create tutorials on mit app inventors so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial so start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic android mobile app I told you before we are going to use the google dictionary extension to create this app so there's an so you need to go to this website i have given the link in the description below and then here you need to scroll down and you will be able to see the AIX file of the G dictionary or the Google dictionary extension. So if you want to download this, you need to make sure that you log in to the Codular account or you can create one. It, it just takes few minutes to create. And then after you log in, click on this link and then this extension will get downloaded. Now after you download it in MIT App Inventor, you need to go to extension and then you need to import the AIX file or the extension file which we have downloaded. Now let's drag in this extension to the UI. Next we are going to bring in a label and we are going to put this to be at the middle of screen 1. So click on screen 1 and change align horizontal to be center. Now let's change the text of this label to be dictionary app. Now we are going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 30. Now you can see that the title is finished. Next we are going to bring in a text box. So in this text box they will type the word for which they need the meaning. So the hint is going to be type a word. And then we are, we are also going to bring in a button. And let's change the text of this button to be get meaning. Let's make the font to be bold and we are going to increase the font size of this to be 15. Next we are going to bring in a list view in which we are going to show all the meanings of a particular word which they have they will type in text box 1. So let's bring in list view. And if you want you can change the background color. So I'm going to put white the background color and remember to change the text color to be black. Now let's go to the block section. So when button 1 is clicked, so button 1 is this button, the get meaning button. We need to get the meaning and we need to show it in the list view. So let's go to G dictionary, this extension. And here you will be able to see this block, get meaning. So let's bring it in. And then the word is going to be whatever they type in this text box, which is text box 1. So in the block section, we are going to bring in text box 1 dot text. And then here you need to put the languages. So if you want to see what are languages are supported by this extension, you can use this and you will you can show this in a label to find which all languages are supported. So here I'm going to put the source lang language to be English. So for English, you need to put EN. Now after this gets the meaning, we need to show it in a list. So what we are going to do is we are going to bring in this block the meaning stripped so after this gets the meaning we need to get the value and then we are going to split it so here you will be able to see set list view one dot elements to and now we are going to bring in the split block so here in text you will be able to see split text stat and then here the text is going to be we will get the value which is the meanings and we are going to split them at br so let me put BR here. Make sure you put these signs too along with the BR. Now after we split it, we will it will create a list. And then we are going to show it in list view 1. So here you can see the dictionary app. I'm going to type a word. Now click on get meaning. Now you can see that all the meanings of the word hello are coming here. And now you can see all you can also see some synonyms here in the list view. There are many other options which you can do with this G dictionary extension. Now you can see that you can get the phonetic by putting the word and then the source language like we did for the meanings block. 
and you can also get the origin of the word and then there are many other options which which you can try out next do you want to create a translator app using mit app inventor watch this video and also watch my full course of mighty app inventor here